Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Skolde and today we are going to play around with instancing scenes. People have asked me how you can handle instancing scenes. Because there are many ways of handling it. You may want scenes that you can access from everywhere. Or you may have scenes you just want to instance in one particular scene. So I'm going to show you how you can use singletons to access scenes from any script, as well as how you can instance the scene from within a script. So let's just start by opening a new project here. There will be no required material to follow this tutorial, so you're more than welcome to code along. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create our main scene. This will be the scene that we're going to instance scenes into. I'm going to use the control node and name this main. And now I'm going to press control S to save and hit the save button. And then we hit play in order to select our main scene. Let's select it and select our main. Thus the name main makes sense, right? Because it's our main scene. Let us begin by creating our script on our main here. Right click main and select add script. The default name is just fine, so hit create. Let's remove all commenting. So the way we're gonna get our scene reference is by using export packed scene var scene underscore one. Now what this does, using export and then packed scene, it allows us to go into main and select our scene from the editor. So if you now hit null and select load, you can just navigate to the scene you wish to insert into this variable, which is scene underscore one. So let's start by creating a separate scene that we can load. So I'm gonna hit scene, select new scene, and create a rigid body 2D. So I'm gonna rename rigid body 2D to Gedurti. Now inside Gedurti, we're gonna need a sprite so we can see it. So let me add a sprite here. That's the one. Let's rename this to sprite, lower capital letters, and on the right under expector, we're gonna load a texture. So select null, select load, and let's just select our icon here. But before we are finished, we will have to add a collision box. So when we are instancing multiple of these on top of each other, they won't just stack. You have something to look at. So let's find collision shape 2D, which is this one. Let's rename this to collision, and on the right side, select shape and create a new rectangle shape 2D. Let's zoom in here and make sure we drag the blue box and not the outer edges. Make sure to drag the one inside here, which is right here. Now, if you were to change the outer edges on a collision shape, it will mess everything up. It won't be correct when you play the scene. Avoid scaling every time you can avoid it. Let's press Ctrl S to save this. Let's create a new folder for Gidoti. Let's write Gidoti inside here, okay and just hit save. So let's now go back into our main here, select main, and let's load our scene. Let's navigate to Gedoti TSEN. There we go. So now we have a reference of Gedoti TSEN when we load this script. So what I'm going to do is when we start, when ready is running, we're gonna create a variable scene underscore instance. And that's gonna be equal to scene underscore one dot instance, which will turn an instance of our first scene. So I'm gonna copy this, and underneath there I'm gonna write add underscore child and paste it in. What will happen now is we're gonna instance the scene in the default position of our main, which is 00, zero so it should appear in the upper left corner. So let's hit play, and there it is, falling all the way down into nowhere. So let's close this and do it again. Let's first change the position of our scene. So set underscore pause. And so I'm gonna write os dot get underscore window size. I'm gonna divide it by two, so we are centered. Let's hit play again. Perfect. So that is how you can change variables before actually adding it to the scene tree. I do not recommend you add it to the scene and then change variables. It's just something to keep in mind. But that's not the point. How can we create our scene so we can access this from any script without having to manually add this all the time? Or as you probably would do on ready, var scene underscore one equals to preload and then the path of scene one, which in this case is inside Gedoti. So I'm gonna select that here, so we can just copy this. I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna enter, lastly, Gedoti.tsen. Wait, something's wrong here. Yeah, this is not accurate. <laughs> this one Gedoti too many here. Now, the file system is a bit buggy, so... It's just something to keep in mind, so pay attention to that. So we now have preloaded our scene one. So if you hit play now, it should work as well. And it does. So how do I access this from anywhere? Well, let's start by creating a script that will be accessed. So go into File, select New. Inside there, I'm gonna create a global.gd. Let's hit Create. Let's remove everything except the top line here. And that is important, otherwise it will not work. 
So I'm gonna go back into main. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna paste it inside global here. Pressing control S to save. And now I'm going to go up into scene. Select project settings. Under auto load, I'm going to load the path of our global. Select this and double click global. Now you can optionally change name of the node, and this is what you will have to type before accessing variables. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to rename this to global with capital letters, yelling it out to the world. So let's select add, and now we have a list here with the name of the variable and the path of the script, and it is enabled, so that's good. And if you were to have multiple of these, you can rearrange the priority of one that will load. Just something to keep in mind. So this script is now good. Let's go back to our main here. And let's test it out. Let's enter global.scene underscore one here. So if everything is alright, we should be able to access this scene reference from within this script without any other references to other scenes. So let's hit play. And voila. If you have more questions about globals and or creating scenes, please let me know. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to see more. And I hope to see you in a future video. Bye-bye.